are entering a new golden age for space exploration. Technology is advancing rapidly, and we are reinventing the way we design our spacecrafts. This is, however, a process of trial and error. Countering the enormous successes of the last years, here are some of the most dramatic failures. We are taking a look at the failed landings from the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Enormous explosions that caused widespread pollution in Russia. And we dive into the failed mission with two astronauts aboard who barely escaped their worst nightmare. Before we continue, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Deep Thought. Number 1. Antares On October 28, 2014, from a launch pad in Virginia, a rocket launch went horribly wrong. The Antares rockets are developed by NASA as a carrier for cargo into space. They carry a payload of up to 8,000 kilograms, or 17,600 pounds, and have had a streak of successful launches. On October 28th, though, the fifth launch was set to take place. The rocket was heading to the International Space Station and carried 2,200 kilograms of cargo. Most of this was intended for scientific investigations and to supply the crew on board the ISS. The mission was intended to last one month, but in just 15 seconds, it all went down the drain. Three, two, one. Shortly after countdown, the rocket seemed to have a successful liftoff, but only seconds later, it slowed down and began an uncontrollable descent. The propulsion failed in the first stage, causing the vehicle to begin falling back to the launch pad. The resulting explosion was felt in towns dozens of kilometers away. NASA released a press release in which they stated that there were no known issues prior to the launch and that nobody was injured during the catastrophe. There was, however, significant damage to the launch pad and the entire payload was lost. The next day, teams of investigators began examining the debris at the crash site and found that most on-site damages were, fortunately, easy to repair. The failure was traced to a fault in the first stage engine. A leak of fuel started a fire and damaged various components in the thrust section. This gradually led to the engines being shut down and the rocket to lose speed. Number 2. Falcon 9 The Falcon 9, developed by SpaceX in the United States, is considered one of the most advanced space vehicles that exists to date. In 2008, SpaceX won a contract from NASA to use the Falcon 9 to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. It has a Category 3 rating for cargo, which means that it is allowed to launch the priciest, most important, and most complex NASA missions. The success of the Falcon 9 began with the first launch in 2010, and it is currently the most launched rocket from the United States. One of the reasons why the rocket is so groundbreaking is because it is partially reusable. The first stage is capable of re-entering the atmosphere and landing on the ground. This was achieved for the first time in December 2015, and this significantly reduces the cost of rocket launches. On June 28, 2015, Four, three, the launch of a SpaceX two, Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida SpaceX seemed Falcon like no other launch. The, the rocket was Station. headed to the International Access Space Station on a resupply launch. mission, and everything seemed and to go smoothly. It was in the air for more than two minutes and reached an altitude of 40 kilometers when everything went horribly wrong. I want to recover that big first stage so they can reuse it. Yeah. 
In a press release, SpaceX founder Elon Musk stated that the accident was likely caused by a faulty strut inside the booster's upper stage. This caused a rapid overpressure event that destroyed the rocket within seconds. Number 3. Proton M After the United States, Russia is the country with the largest space program in the world. One of their rockets, the Proton M, was scheduled to make an unmanned mission to space from a launch pad in Kazakhstan. The Proton M flew its first mission in 2001 and has made 111 launches since then. 11 of those failed, or had partially failed, yielding the rocket a success rate of 90%. On July 2, 2013, the odds were stacked against the Russian Proton. Seventeen seconds into the flight, the booster engines went into an emergency shutdown. The rocket began to sway and quickly lost control. Moments before it crashed into the ground, the rocket broke apart in midair. The rocket had the height of a 17-story building and had three navigation satellites on board. These satellites alone were worth almost $200 million. The fiery blaze that followed was highly poisonous. The rocket was carrying 600 tons of toxic substances. The damage was partially contained by rain at the launch site. The launch pad itself was unharmed and nobody was injured in the event. The Russian government released a report about the incident in which they concluded that the cause of the accident was a flawed assembly process. A series of sensors that are designed to provide navigational information during the launch showed signs of force after assembly. One of them was even installed upside down. As a result, the flight control system was receiving the wrong information and tried to correct it causing the rocket to swing wildly, which ultimately led to the crash. Number 4. SpaceX Landing Fails Back to the United States, where Elon Musk is on a mission to enable the colonization of Mars. With his space exploration company, SpaceX, Elon Musk is revolutionizing the way we send people and cargo into space. His company is the first private company to successfully launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft. His rockets are the first to be partially reusable, and for that, the rocket needs to land. And that doesn't always go well. The Falcon 9 rocket is able to land, which is often done on a floating barge. When the first stage falls through the atmosphere, a cold gas is released to flip the rocket. The rocket is now plummeting to Earth, and the engines fire briefly to slow down the fall. As it is approaching the target, the legs deploy, and three of the nine Merlin engines fire one last time. The rocket then approaches the landing pad and makes a soft touchdown. Unless, of course, it doesn't. The technology of space exploration is in the very early stages of development, and minor defects can have catastrophic results. There have been 75 landing attempts with the Falcon 9, and 65 of these were successful. The few times it went wrong, it was always because of a minor technological issue. The first landing attempt that went wrong, after 12 successful ones, was blamed on the Falcon 9's grid fins. These are used to steer the booster to its intended landing target. The rocket began spinning out of control and plummeted into the Atlantic Ocean. Other failed attempts have been blamed on a lack of igniter fluid to start the engines and sensors malfunctioning. But despite these failed attempts, the technology has been incredibly successful. The majority of attempts are a huge success, and each one brings Elon Musk a little bit closer to putting a person on Mars. Number 5. Soyuz MS-10 Launch Failure For the last failed rocket launch, we are going back to Kazakhstan, 
where a Russian and American astronaut were prepared to head into the International Space Station. On October 11th, 2018 at 9 a.m. in the morning, a Soyuz MS-10 rocket was getting ready for liftoff. The rocket is widely considered to be Russia's most successful design and is the primary vehicle used by the Russian Federal Space Agency. It has a mass of more than 300 metric tons and a height of 49 meters. It has been launched 70 times and only one of those times has been unsuccessful. This is what happened during that one unsuccessful launch. The two crew members were in position and the rocket was ready to launch. And there is liftoff of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Obchinin to the orbital complex. A few minutes after liftoff, the craft went into contingency abort due to a booster failure. The rocket was losing speed, and the astronauts described a feeling of weightlessness. Shortly after, Mission Control ordered an emergency separation. The crew aborted the spacecraft and plummeted 50 kilometers to the Earth, experiencing about six to seven times the Earth's gravity. One hundred ninety seconds into the flight, so he's traveling about forty-seven hundred miles per hour. Don't be in a hurry. Nineteen minutes and forty-one seconds after the launch, the spacecraft carrying the crew made a successful landing over four hundred kilometers from the launch site in the desert of central Kazakhstan. The crew was luckily unharmed and was immediately reunited with their families. It was the first booster incident in Russia in thirty-five years. A thorough investigation concluded that a separation sensor failed to activate the motor that should have allowed the spacecraft to separate and enter orbit. What do you think about these failed launches? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Deep Thought. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.